Happy Friday, Ravens. Welcome to Raven Roundup. I'm Jack Clayton alongside August Berthold. Today we have recaps of the new football coach, boys and girls basketball, wrestling, and bowling. First, the new head coach for the football team was released yesterday. Aaron Hafner will be coming from Luther College in Decorah, Iowa, where he spent the last five years as head coach. We are very excited to welcome Coach Hafner to Olathe Northwest and our football family. Last night, the boys' basketball team traveled down south to Pittsburgh, Kansas to play their first team of the 2018 Border Classic Tournament against Wichita West. The boys dominated from start to finish and won the game 55-37. to They will face Blue Valley Northwest in the second round tonight at 9.15 p.m. Also last night, the girls' basketball team faced off against St. Teresa's Academy at home. The Lady Ravens started off with the bang, but St. Teresa's Academy wouldn't back down, tying the game in the third quarter. The Lady Ravens pulled away at the end and took the victory 69-55. to The Lady Ravens now have won eight straight games. For the next game, they will also go to Newton, Kansas for their second tournament of the season. On Wednesday, the wrestling team took the mat for a dual meet during Gardner, against Gardner Edgerton. The team started off slow, but ultimately took control with victories from Caden Howard, Quentin Talbert, Braden, Brady Pellman, PJ Williams, John Redmond, Trevor Adam, Brandon Medina, and Cody Marley. The next dual meet is next Saturday, January 27 at Andover High School. Yesterday, the bowling team competed in their opening Sunflower League meet at Park Lanes against Olathe North and Shawnee Mission Northwest. The varsity boys took second, and with a possible disqualification from Olathe North, the JV boys also took second. Both girls' teams also took third. Cade Rapp had the highest series with the 616 for the team. The next meet will be on Monday, January 22nd at KC Bowl. That's all we have for today's roundup. Have a great weekend, Ravens.